Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen. I'm coming back to you with another episode of Robert's Gardening Experiment. Um, today is going to be a live video. I am doing this because the project that I'm about to begin is probably one of the biggest ones that I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to make a good compost pile and I've had an idea of digging a hole and using brick, clay bricks and just regular bricks around the sides and putting my compost in and then putting plastic over the top of it for heat. I did that about three years ago and just to let you know uh, I let that slide and it's not really a good suggestion that you do that because now I have a beehive that's grown up inside of it I'll let you guys look at it and see what I'm talking about I don't know if you can see the bees but they are strong they're going pretty good that is my compost pile and like I said I didn't finish that compost pile and it was actually higher than the ground level so I ran out of energy and as time went by we like I said in a couple videos before I'll come out with a video for it but we had the back side of this house and the bathroom re remodeled and during that process the people that were fixing stuff came out here and put stuff on top of it and then we cut some trees away in this area and I, my nephews came and put tree limbs over the top of it which those are it right there and don't I, I don't want to tell them to do that because by that time it had already freaking uh, been done, uh, overgrown and everything it was all out of shape so today we're planning where I had or I showed you the trees are right here this is where we're planning on putting the greenhouse with a deck And back behind that, I'm wanting to put a compost pile like I was describing in this area right here, and I want it to stretch to here. And then back behind here, where that chair is, I want to put a water system to where we can have water come into the greenhouse and we can catch rain off of the side of this right here with just the what do they call them things that for the houses where you run them along the side and they catch the water and that's what I want to do I want it to run straight into containers to collect the water and then use that water to feed the plants and that's going to be my project first today I'm not going to show the entire film but I'm going to dig out farther like I said to right about here right about here and then we'll come across right here because there's a concrete foundation that was here before and I'm just going to start from that starting point and make that a huge compost pile and cover it with plastic i'm thinking if i level that off the ground level i might get stung by bees but if i do that then and put plastic over it it'll smother those bees out or maybe i can figure out a way of starting a beehive with them i don't know if those kind of bees would even produce honey so I'm going to check into that and see where I go with that. But this is our first episode. If 
Robert's gardening experience where it's live where you can see me I actually shaved my head off got rid of the hair got rid of the beard so I could pretty myself up I'm gonna wear this because it's gonna be a dirty job today it's gonna be nothing but me shoveling and moving dirt I'll take footage of that after I'm done that way you guys can see what it looks like but right now that's what I've got and I will fill you in after it's done I'm not gonna keep it filming because I'm not gonna do that fast forward stuff but I will come back and let you guys see it all right I am back and I have the whole finished but that's all I did it took me all day to do it I'm gonna show you what I've done and so far gotten the whole two feet roughly maybe about two foot foot and a half deep if you can see that I'm not sure almost fell Still have our B problems there. I will deal with that tomorrow. First, I'm going to work on getting the big pieces of wood there cut down smaller. And I'm debating on putting them in first or putting the smaller branches in so that the bigger ones weigh it down. After I'm done there, I'm going to take what's on top above the surface on that pile and I'm going to cover that. I also know where there's grass clippings over here by a tree, so I might put that in to finish the touches or I might leave it alone. But after it's all done, I'm going to cover it with plastic now when we first moved in here this area was completely messed up whoever had lived here before made a habit of burying stuff back here so I found tons of rotted away metal we've also got some tree roots that I had to come out here with a pickaxe to take care of and I also found glass. All the shards and everything I put down on the ground. And I'm going to come through here with a garden rake tomorrow. And I'm going to take care of that. I also want to mention that you're going to have leftover dirt when you do this. So what I usually do is I rake it out flat after I pick up all the glass and everything that I dug out of the hole and I sort through that dirt too besides that this dirt will help me to level this area out for when we set down a greenhouse and I have another pile that's back behind there I can use that too but so far this is how far I've gotten and this is what it looks like fill you in tomorrow when I start it up again all right it is the next day I started work on the compost file so far what I've done is I was able to get the wood cut down to small enough pieces to where I could put it into the hole that I showed you earlier that has or that I dug up it took a day to do it I uh, decided to go ahead and put the light twigs and branches on the bottom and the heavier ones on top so that it weighs it down and uh, then I am going or now I'm going to rake this pile of dirt 
flat to where I can sift through it and get all of the glass and everything else that was under the ground out of it. But as you can see, there is no more wood. It's all in there, and this is what it looks like. It's higher than what I expected it to be, so I'm going to give it time. See, I to started see if here, collapse. and I started raking out here. I brought it down. I created a dirt path, here. and right here is where I ended. Right here. Now, after I do that, I come back over to here, and I go out. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can filter through the dirt pick out the glass and all the other stuff that's inside of there um, besides that I'm going to start collecting the pebbles too I seen something on YouTube where they were talking about um, using pebbles for gardening so I might start doing that you know talking about testing the pebbles with this is vinegar a job that where if you're going to get involved and start doing this there will be ticks involved and there will be creatures in your yard that you're going to have to deal with so if you're doing this and you have long hair just be warned there's a good chance that you're going to get ticks in your hair you're going to get ticks in your body so at night when you're done I would suggest that you check your body thoroughly take a nice shower and get cleaned up I uh, got stung three times yesterday because of those bees and I'll tell you right now if you go to take your shower take a warm shower a luke hot shower if you can they're called surfer showers and it'll get rid of all the sting and everything just like a sunburn but uh, that's what I did and I was ready to go today